I spent this morning shopping, running errands, and at the mall I picked up some Chinese food. So I've got this to-go box of, I think this was mandarin chicken, we've got some fried rice, and some stir-fried noodles. So I'm gonna actually put this on a plate to warm it up a little bit more, and then add some sriracha, and then eat this in front of the TV. Just putting it in a different bowl already makes it look so much better than just like Chinese takeout in the styrofoam container. This looks so good. I even added some cilantro on it to make it a little brighter, more flavor. And let's dig in. I'm watching Damsel. I just made a candy salad. I've been seeing this trending and I really wanted to make it. So I've got all of my favorite candies in here. I've got gummy bears, gummy worms, sour gummy worms actually. And then I've got sour patch straws and sour patch watermelon. We've also got these like nerds rope balls in there. They add a little crunch in it, but it smells so amazing. I've got a lot of berry scents in here from the berry gummy worms and the nerds rope berry. And it's like very berry. But I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so good. Like this could be a candle sit and I would buy it. It smells so amazing. But I've got so much candy. I am going to take my time eating this. It's gonna last me a while. But yay, it's so pretty and it was fun to make. Let's eat one. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Mm-hmm, yum. I just ate some bullseye ramen, the habanero lime flavor, because I just made a short for it, but then I forgot to film it on the DJI. So um, now I'm filming what I'm eating after to cool down like the heat. I'm drinking this aloe vera drink, and then I've got a cold honeydew melon, just half of it. I didn't even feel like cutting it. I'm just scooping it out, and this is so sweet and just refreshing, especially after eating that cold duck ramen, which is so hot, I can still feel the heat. So I'm just enjoying this now. This is my orange juice with a twist. I've got oranges in here. We've got some um, ginger and then I also added some carrots. So this is kind of like tart and sweet from the oranges, but then it's earthy from the carrots and we've got that little spice of ginger in there. I like ginger things, so I put a little more ginger than I think other people would, but for me, this is delicious. I really love this and I'm happy I'm starting juice again. Really excited to be drinking these juices and get some more nutrients in me. This is so good. <laughs> I just got home from running a bunch of errands, so for lunch today, we are gonna make these hot Italian sausage and just like eat it with rice. All right, so all of them are in. We're gonna let it simmer on medium low and then we'll check back on them, flip them in maybe like eight to 10 minutes and then crisp up the skin. So it is like 2.30 while I'm waiting for that to cook. I'm gonna snack a little bit because I'm so hungry. This is um, honey jalapeno hummus. So found this at Costco today on my errands run. It looks so good, sounds delicious. I'm gonna get some of this and then eat it with some pita chips. So that looks good. Let's get a dollop of it. Put it on my plate. It smells a little spicy. Mmm, that's delicious. That's spicy though. Yum. I got some Stacy's pita chips. Alright, and this is my snack before my official lunch. But yum. Mm. Snack time. It wasn't crisping up as well in the pan, so I'm putting it in the air fryer now so that the skin can crisp up a little better. Yes, this looks amazing, looks good. I don't know if the Italian sausage is supposed to have like a crisp skin to it, but this is how we like to eat it. And the rice is done too, so let's plate it up and eat. This was a super quick meal. It took me like 
30 minutes for everything. Mm. The Italian sausage has so much flavor in it. So good, so quick to make. I want to make this again and more often. Yum. Mm. Dinner tonight, I'm making stir-fried flat noodles. I'm making it with beef and Chinese broccoli. The options for dinner was either rice and like galbi or um, flat noodles. And we already had rice for lunch, so I was feeling more noodles or feeling towards noodles more. And I have these dry noodles. I wanted the fresh rice noodles, but they didn't have them in the store that I went to. So we're working with the dry ones today. And then I've got some ribeye beef. I'm gonna cut this into some slices and then we've got that the Chinese broccoli. So I'm gonna prep everything and then we'll stir fry and cook up everything. Let's cut the leaves. Got that. For these like thicker pieces, sometimes I will slice them and uh, this helps them cook a little more evenly. Got some garlic here. Gonna skin it, and then I have this new tool that I want to use. So we'll see if it actually chops the garlic. So this is a new gadget I have. It's a like vegetable chopper, but I'm gonna use it for garlic. So let's put the garlic inside and uh, chop it up. Ooh, it's really getting chopped in there. Yay, I love this. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Yes, it's perfect. Smells amazing. Yeah. Stir fried flat noodles are done. This is like pad siu Thai stir fried noodles, and it comes together really quickly. I love this dish um, because it's so quick to make and then it's so flavorful. And I think this might be the best I've ever made it. I kind of just wing it when I pour the ingredients or like seasonings in and hope for the best. And I was tasting it along as I was cooking and it tastes really good. Mm. The veggies are perfectly cooked and the meat is so tender. Mm -hmm. Bite of it. Spicy. I'm gonna finish the night eating some honeydew melon. This is my favorite fruit. I started eating this yesterday. I didn't even cut it up. I'm just eating straight from the half. So we're gonna end our day with this refreshing sweet treat. And I'm gonna wash damsel. Bye.